Oi, boys, welcome, welcome. We are back with our custom career mode, our 0 to 100 Northern Wolves. And if this is your first time tuning into one of these, it is a squad that consists of subscribers still in the Division 2 or Championship 1, working our way up towards the Super League. Now, this kid on screen, James Reese, the skipper of the team we're facing, is one of the boys that didn't make the cuts. One of a few that we stat boosted and threw into a random team. So we'll be running into our players that didn't make the cut a few times. As for our squad today, I did see the request in the previous video, so your players should be in. And we're running a little experiment here, throwing our boy Nate Saba. Because he's a big body, we're going to use him in the front row for this game. Nathaniel Edwards, our hooker, will be looking to get him involved a lot more as well. You would have seen in the last game a couple line breaks and all that. We're going to use him like a, a Harry Grant type player, if you will. Or fall into the sets. We'll take that as we put the skipper through. Nice little fin gets the offload away and Dickerson will streak away. That's another thing I'm loving about this series. The strike players are actually effective. And the speed differences is actually noticeable. Now that'll change obviously as we progress through the higher leagues. That's Halaya. That's six points. Let's go. These games too, they last for ages. As we milk one there. There's a couple of players I'm trying to score tries with. Haven't really gotten into the positions. As Trasky, Manawusso. We'll get wrapped up around the 20. Kalaya looking for Benz. Ben, Benz O'Donnell. I'm assuming the nickname alludes to his speed. Forward pass. Three, back with me. Here we go. Ben's in open space. A little foot race, but he's well taken care of. Number 23. All over our speedster. Oof. That's tough. Might also throw him to the wolves. Catch us off, we're not gonna make the tackle. Of course not. The whole set to work, five out. A driving tackle, Talis Riff. Back from suspension, by the way. The only person to get suspended. I'm checking, when should we bring the 14th in? We also have Landon Benson to play through the middle. Still knocking at the door. They've been pretty ordinary, the Bears in attack. Even James Reese, the 90 overall. Another solid tackle. Fifth and last. The grubber. Intercepted with a dive. That is. That might be the first time we've seen that, literally. We usually get cheesed by, like, the players holding their arms out for a charge down or something. Again, we put Dickerson through. As he shakes a second in a row, he's gone. That's it. Throw up the fist. Or the finger. <laughs> As our boy Aiden Dickerson scores an early double. We don't need the speedster to our left. I think scooting with Edwards has been the key so far. He's been torching that left or that right edge of the beers. Look at that. Still going, Nate Saba through the middle. Find support. The skipper can't find. Our boy Dickerson, imagine getting a Hattie. As we play short through the middle. You don't understand how many times I've seen that setup deep in our end and tried that exact play. I'm talking about that line break that got us down here in the first place, boys. Surely score points off it. As we drop it on the toe. Easily read by Roper. And unfortunately, we don't cross. I feel like I say it every time. These types of... Or this... I guess difficulty level. Or is it the difficulty level? Coupled with... I guess the play overalls. That's... Making it nice for the set place to actually work. 
That's a good drawing pass from Anouso. Been plenty busy this game. We have been bullying this right edge of the Bears. That one. Not so much. Chris Wright hasn't really seen the ball. Dickerson's been carving up. As Nate Edwards drops it on the toe. Slow to get it out of the end goal. Saba meets it. Fifth and last here. Gets in the way. We still toss it up. The back back. Oh, right into the big hits. Bit of revenge there for the Bears. Been smashing them this game. Interception. Nate Saba. Come on. I think we've found our new front rower. As they move too quick for us. We need to back up a bit or get tackled in goal. Just to get some space here. Let's go deep. Oh, the penalty. We'll take that. That'll be a nice refresh. Literal centimeters. I hate this spot, man. We're too close. The slowest play the ball into the big hits. Cheese. Off the side of the boot. Straight to Chris Wright. One of a few touches. Look at all that space. What are you doing? Kicking to the fastest player in the league. We punish him. Chris Wright. What try is that? Try number 11. That's a good strike rate, 11 from 10. 19 minutes to go. Chris Butler, ooh, I thought he sold off that pass. He actually created the line break. Mackelax at hooker. Here's a good ball from Butler. That's big tight to Lola through the middle. Gets a cook in here. O'Reilly. Benson. Fifth and last. That's perfectly placed. An easy take though. That sucks. A waste of a decent set. <laughs> These poor boys cannot take a break. Oh no, it's on. It's on for Chris. At hooker, Butler looking for the drop down cheese. Is it his first try? We will find out. There it is, flat on his belly, Chris Butler. After how many times, how many games we should say, we finally get him his first to meet pie. Long time coming. Liar, perfect off the boot. To be fair, the kicks have been uh, pretty easy for us. Full time, full time. It is a complete and utter domination from the boys in black and yellow. I think it's safe to say we've found our new impact front rower. Nate Saba has an absolute blinder, as does Nate Edwards or Nathaniel Edwards. There's plenty of stuff happening, plenty of stories unfolding here in our Wolves career mode. If I still haven't given your player a run, let me know in the comment section down below. But for now, we're going to wrap it up there. If you enjoyed that, be sure to run straight to that like button. And for more rugby league related content or more content in general, go ahead and drop your boy a cheeky sub. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you. Later.